Hey guys, I'm starting a new series today and this will be on the California State University system and it will be covering a bunch of computer science degrees. So I'm going to start with CSU Bakersfield and this will cover the computer science degree at the program. For those of you not familiar with my channel, I go over a lot of different college degrees and a lot of different schools. Uh, I mostly go over computer science degrees, although I go over several degrees. I have a computer science degree myself, and I'm currently in a master's computer science degree as well. So I will show you if a computer science curriculum is a curriculum I like. I will show you how you can possibly speed run a computer science degree a little faster, uh, which I will show you in a spreadsheet of transferable ACE credits. Uh, ACE credits are something you can do in a matter of a few days each and then you transfer them to a college and they accept those as college credit so not every college will accept it though and you have to check beforehand especially with California State University so it's always every evaluator is different at every school with the California State University system even the evaluators at the schools themselves every evaluator might handle something a little different so it's not when it comes to online schools, like everything is very straightforward and very, uh, you know, there's like a process. But when it comes to like a system like California State University, uh, sometimes it's a little different per every school. It's a little different per every evaluator individually. So it's just something to uh, keep an eye on. And that's why I would always suggest talking to the evaluator first before you do any of these ACE credits. Also, if you guys are interested, I am launching a website in the next month or so, which does help. Uh, it helps you learn the hard skills to get your first engineering job. So be on the lookout for that. I'm very, very excited to launch that. So I've been working on it for a very long time. So I will come back like a month later and post the link in the description. So keep an eye on that. So I am going to go over first, I'm going to go over the spreadsheet of transferable classes that you can get some of these classes out of the way. And then I'm going to go over to the CSU Bakersfield computer science page and I'm going to go over the curriculum on there and what courses you will have on there and what you can expect in that degree program. So let's get into the spreadsheet right now and we can see what courses you can take at these ACE credit platforms that can shave one whole year off of your college degree, off of your computer science degree. All right, we are in the spreadsheet how you can shave a year off of your university in the computer science program, although these general education courses should work for any of the programs. So you have your general education up here, and it's from a website called study.com. It's a website I like a lot. I completed many courses there myself. And once again, if you don't know some background information on me, I was able to complete, uh, complete a computer science degree in one year by doing these ACE credits and, you know, kind of hacking the college system. So you have U.S. History 1, American Government, Introduction to Psychology. These courses will satisfy a lot of your general education, and these are like two-day courses. So imagine getting three college credits in like a couple days. Now, this is if you, if you hustle, if you put in a lot of effort. You know, I'm talking multiple hours a day, you know, anywhere from five to eight hours a day. You really have to put in the time, okay? These are not just, uh, you have to put in the effort, you know, you have to put in the hours, and you can complete this fast. You will have to do a proctored exam at the end, but if you get 100% on all the quizzes, which is extremely doable, as the quizzes are open book, then all you need on the final is like a 55%, which is pretty easy to pass. Um, and then general biology with lab, this is more of a 10 day course, but it's still much easier than the college level biology with lab. English one and two is at a website called Straighter Line and I completed English on this platform myself. And I completed this English class here years ago, and since then, it's actually gotten easier. They've kind of dumbed it down a little more, um, and it's actually easier to pass. It's still gonna take you 10 days each, probably, because of all the writing. And then we have discrete math and data structures at study.com, and this is why a lot of people avoid a computer science degree, and I'm telling you, you don't have to, because uh, you can do these credits off-platform and not have to do them at the college level. So discrete mathematics, data structures, calculus one and two, you know, four of the courses that make people switch programs. You can do these courses here, ACE credits, and transfer them in. So I would highly recommend doing that because honestly, 
you know, discrete math is not really something you need on the job. Uh, data structures as well. You need data structures to pass an interview. You need to know data structures really well. You won't, you won't really need it on the job. But when it comes to passing an interview, you, need to, you do need to know that like the back of your head. And you have calculus one and two. Once again, that's something you won't be using on the job either, uh, unless you're doing like video game programming. So now, a lot of CSU evaluators are not used to seeing non-military ace credits, although they are the same thing. They are literally the same thing. So, you know, uh, verify with whoever your evaluator is going to be, or verify with the school themselves that these will transfer in as their equivalents. Do not do these before you verify that, as the CSU system is not a partner system of these ACE credit platforms. So you need verification beforehand. Uh, I mean, you could just do them, but then you risk them not transferring. So I would verify with uh, whatever school you're attending, such as CSU Bakersfield, and make sure that these transfer in accordingly. Um, and hopefully that hopefully they do. So the thing with the CSU system is every evaluator is different. Um, every evaluator has had different experiences and every school in the system is a little different as well. So technically they're supposed to accept up to 70 ACE credits. Personally, I don't think they'll do that, um, but they should accept up to 30 credits in my opinion, but you'll just have to talk to your evaluator and see what they say. So I think they should accept at least, at least 15 credits. Um, and I'd be pretty shocked if they accepted nothing. So, and if you, they're only going to accept like 15, I would do these four and, you know, maybe get the biology class out of the way. So, you know, that would be a uh, very beneficial to you. And like I said, if they decline you, I'd probably just appeal it and, you know, realize that all ACE credits are the same. Like I said, a lot of schools are not used to dealing with non-military members having ACE credits. Okay. This is something new. It's going to get more and more popular as the years go on and more and more mainstream. Right now, this is very, very mainstream with online schools where you do a bunch of ACE credits, like 90 ACE credits. You transfer them in and you only have to do 30 college credits at the school. So this is, you know, slowly leaking its way into the physical school system as well, but it's going to take more time to become mainstream. So if this all goes well, you should be able to shave a year off of your college and save a year of tuition, which is a lot of money. Asteria.com's doing a 68% promo for the summer as well if you want to use that link. Um, and I have a website up here, majormash.com, where you can download this spreadsheet and also go over a lot of other college degrees that I cover too. So now that we've covered this spreadsheet, I'm going to get into the CSU Baker, Bakersfield uh, computer science page and I'll show you uh, my thoughts on that and we'll go over the curriculum. All right, guys, we are on the, um, the catalog page for the computer science program at CSU Bakersfield. So, so I'm a big fan of the California State University system and I, I really like a lot of their computer science degrees, especially the one here at Bakersfield as well. So you, CSU Bakersfield is a great school. Uh, I have nothing but good things to say about it. Um, you'll get a very quality education there, uh, any major that you do. So we're going to get down here and we got a lot of good computer science courses. So programming one and two, programming one, programming fundamentals. I'm not sure which programming, programming language this will be in, but you will learn all the basics of programming. You know, they're going to show you object oriented programming, you know, arrays, uh, you know, basically every key component, every key basic programming thing you'll probably learn in this class. So, and that's the, that's kind of the start of every computer science degree. And then you'll learn data structures and algorithms. And hopefully we transfer this class in from study.com. So that'll teach you some really good fundamentals that you need for an interview. Uh, also is a big part of programming and then discrete structures. This course is different. Uh, at every school, it's either called discrete, discrete structures or discrete math. And it's the same thing. So whether it's called discrete structures or discrete math, it's the same course. Uh, California community colleges and the California state university system. Sometimes they like calling this course discrete structures. Whereas a lot of higher colleges, like 
um, like UC California and other colleges not in California, you know, most of the time this is called discrete mathematics. Like I said, discrete structures, discrete mathematics, it is the same course, the same material. And a lot of people will say this is the hardest course in their degree program. Discrete math, very subjective, right? Some people might find it easy, but a lot of people do find this the most challenging course, and sometimes it makes them change degree programs. I will tell you, discrete math is not the boogeyman. You can absolutely pass it with enough studying, uh, put the pedal to the metal, and just study. Math is not about being intelligent, guys. Math is about time. Everything is about time. Everything, learning anything is about a time investment. Make sure you put in the time. Also, like I said, you can do this course on study.com if you check beforehand if the school will accept it. And then you have computer architecture, which I always find is a, t a very tough course usually at any school, but it's a fun course. You'll learn exactly how computers operate and the architecture of it, which is, you know, it provides a lot of theory um, and a lot of good stuff. And then algorithm analysis, algorithm classes are tough but they teach you a lot of good stuff, um, especially if you want to get into more complex programming uh, and if you want to get into AI in the future, algorithms is a must and AI is booming at the moment. This is interesting, a computer architecture two class. I don't think I've seen this in a computer science degree where they have computer architecture one and two. Maybe this is a new thing that schools are doing, but this has computer architecture one and two pretty interesting. And then software engineering, this is in basically every computer science program. And this course will give you, it'll give you the basic fundamentals of how software engineering works on the job. You know, it doesn't show you exactly what you do. It gives you more of the basic guidelines of what to do. And these courses usually do involve a project. So it'll give you a really good, uh, a really good structure for how the real workforce works. And it'll give you a good project to possibly put on your resume, depending what the project is. So, and database systems. Database is universally important. Whether you work in IT, whether you work as a software engineer, whether you work as a data engineer, whether you work as a cloud engineer, whether you work as a cybersecurity analyst. Like, databases is something you need to know. So that class is very important. And this looks like another programming class where you'll learn multiple programming languages. Artificial intelligence has become a core part of any computer science program over the past six years or so. So uh, it's a tough class usually, but it's a fun class. And then operating systems is usually an intermediate level class and I find operating systems really fun. I love operating systems. And you got computer networks, uh, computer networks. Some people find it easy, some people find it hard. I actually find networking pretty hard to be honest. But like I said, very subjective. When it comes to college and courses, difficulty is always going to be extremely subjective. So and then you got a senior project one and two, which sounds pretty interesting. And then you need eight credits from here. Let's see if you can just pick whatever you want. And or do you have to pick from the from the actual like one of each? It doesn't specify, so it looks like you probably can just do two courses of whatever you want. Uh, what would I want to do? Like, I would suggest doing whatever interests you here because these are all valuable courses. And when all the courses are valuable, you just pick whatever interests you the most. Uh, personally, what would I do? Uh, this is my first time seeing this curriculum, so give me a minute to actually make a decision here. But wow, these are all great. Um, I wish there was actually more than eight credits you get to do. You know, like I'd probably replace a couple of these credits up here with these uh, electives. Um, yeah, eight units is kind of a bummer. So uh, if you want to get into any kind of game development, you can do computer animation and game development. And if you want to get into machine learning, you got applied machine learning. Although just to, just to tell you guys, machine learning is not easy. Once again, subjective, but not easy. So if you want to get into machine learning, you can do introduction to data science. You can do uh, advanced artificial intelligence and applied machine learning. So that would be very good for that. Now, personally, 
if I was going to pick two courses here, uh, and if, if I was going to pick two courses and I didn't already know application development, I'd probably go application development and game development. So, but if I do want to learn AI, I'd probably do, I'd probably do application development and applied machine learning. So those are the courses I'd probably pick. And then you got some down here required cask, uh, required math courses. Sorry. You got calculus one and two, which I'm hoping we can transfer in because calculus can be really hard for some people. And then you got physics one and two. So I'm surprised this has physics one and two. I know sometimes that is part of a computer science curriculum. Sometimes it's just physics one. Sometimes degrees don't even have physics in it. So this is a degree that really goes all out on the computer science. Uh, you know, it's like, it's almost like completing a physics degree at the associate level. A physics degree at the associate level is calculus one, two, and three, and then physics one, two, and three. So it's a computer science bachelor's, especially at CSU Bakersfield is like, you're getting almost like a physics associates kind of knowledge here. So very interesting stuff. Um, phys I find physics fun, but man, is it hard. So that's just uh, something you'll have to deal with there. I know uh, study.com does have physics one and two. So if you are scared of physics, um, I would check with your evaluator if you can transfer in like more than 30 ACE credits and then transfer in physics one and two from study.com into this degree program. And then possibly you don't have to take calculus or physics, which would be absolutely tremendous. Um, and like I said, you got a, a lot of great courses in this degree. Like this degree is going to prepare you for a lot. Like this is a very valuable college degree right here. Um, like there is no fluff. Okay. When I look at a lot, a lot of computer science degrees and I look at a lot of, uh, a lot of degrees in general, I do see quite a bit of fluff. But this degree, man, there is no fluff. Like it is just, you're going to learn a lot. Uh, like I said, I like the CSU system. Uh, they really do prioritize learning and getting your job ready. So I do like a lot of the courses here. Would it prepare you for being a software engineer right out of the gate? In my opinion, no. I think you still got to learn more hard skills. Like if you want to be a front end developer, I think you got to learn more front end development and learn React as well, in my opinion. Um, if you want to be a mobile developer, I would take more courses on iOS and Android after your degree. And then also you got to prepare for data structures and algorithms uh, regarding that. So a lot of stuff you would still have to prepare for. But this degree does really prepare you for a lot. And I am quite a big fan of it. So CSU Bakersfield is a great school. Um, and if you are looking to be a software engineer or work in some kind of computer science job, uh, it doesn't have to be a software engineer. It can be any, any kind of engineering. You can be a cloud engineer, you know, go get some AWS certs or some Azure certs, uh, learn how cloud works. You can be a data engineer if you learn the skills for that. You'll prioritize more data classes in this. Like pick the, if you want to be a data engineer, just do the data electives in here. Introduction to data science and data mining and visualization. And then data, being a data engineer usually does require a master's. So I do these two electives and then go do a data master's somewhere. It can be a data science master's. It can be a data analytics master's, which has a focus in data engineering, or it could be a data engineering master's. Although data engineering masters are not quite mainstream yet, although more and more are coming out. So any, basically any master's degree that has data in it, you know, there's, there's also computer science master's degrees and you can pick a concentration that is big data or data systems or whatever there is. So, but make sure you find a computer science master's that does have a data concentration. So once again, there's many fields to pick with, with uh, computer science. Computer science, one of the things I love about a computer science degree and why I have it myself is because there's so, it's so versatile. This is an extremely versatile degree. Whereas I think a software engineering degree is still amazing, but it kind of locks you into software engineering for the most part. Uh, they have cloud engineering type of degrees and that locks you in the cloud. Uh, cybersecurity locks you into cybersecurity for the most part. 
And I'm not saying it permanently locks you into those fields. It's just harder to branch out. But a computer science degree opens up every tech field. It opens up every single tech field. Now you have to still learn the, uh, you still have to learn the hard skills. Okay. You still have to learn how to pass every interview, right? It would still be hard to switch between engineering, uh, roles such as data engineer to go to a software engineer, you know, go to jump to cloud engineering. It would still be hard to transfer over, but it's a computer science degree opens up every single door. Now, of course, a computer science degree is very challenging. Okay. But if you want a challenging major and you want to learn a lot, you want to be challenged, you know, you want to be tried, you know, like this is a great degree. And if you love, if you love computers, you know, you like building things, uh, like from a software perspective or even a hardware perspective. Although if you want to build from a hardware perspective, I would recommend electrical engineering, but regardless, if you like building things, um, you know, you love numbers, I would highly recommend a computer science degree. So if you are 18 years old watching this video, you know, the computer science degree is very valuable and it usually does lead to a six figure income, especially in California. Usually a six figure, uh, usually a software engineer job, an entry level job usually is in the very low six figures, right around a hundred thousand dollar range. If you start off at like a low to medium sized company. Now you can always aim for a bigger company right away. Although that would probably require a lot of networking and a master's degree. So one of the great things though, about a physical school like CSU Bakersfield is a lot of times they have job fairs and during your final year of your computer science degree, you can go to one of these job fairs and really, really network. And a lot of them do get hired as a software engineer, like their final semester, uh, and basically they're working as a full-time software engineer before their degree is actually complete. So one of the great things about physical schools compared to online schools, I love both, but one of the great things is you do get that networking component and you can network uh, and you can also go to these job fairs and you can talk to these companies. You can give them your resume in person, your cover letter in person, always do a cover letter, um, and you can get a job uh, kind of easier than you would with an online degree. Although both are great, online schools are very mainstream these days and they're very respected. So both have their pros, both have their cons. So, but CSU Bakersfield, this computer science degree is great. I like it a lot. These courses are tremendous. Um, you will definitely come out of this degree challenged, a new person, uh, ready to go. So highly recommend CSU Bakersfield computer science. And if I helped you in any possible way, or you like this video in any possible way, I am trying to grow this channel. So please like, and subscribe. I will have more California state university computer science videos coming out. I will also be launching a website that helps uh, people get a job in the engineering department and whether it's a software engineer, cloud engineer, etc. Uh, you can also check out my website, majormash.com, which helps you graduate college cheaper and faster. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you very much. So thank you. I will see you on the next video.